my name is Josh Jenkins. This is my FTT 210 week five, assignment two. Uh, this is the second of the Muzzle Loader Lab. Today is December 13th, 2023. All right, so for this week, we've got a couple things we need to get done. It's, uh, it's gonna be a busy week, so one of the first things we're going to do uh, for this week, this is week five, uh, what we're required to install for this, for the, uh, for the muzzle of this week is we're required to do the front and back thimbles. Uh, you know, we're going to shape and uh, finish them up. Then we're going to install the barrel tins we have right here uh, and the two pins. So on the barrel here, there's a machine. These are machined uh, with grooves. So basically a dovetail, if you will. Machine grooves, and these are rough. Uh, rough machine, or not even really machine, they're just roughed out. So I've got to polish these up, get them to fit in here, because right now they're, they're not going to fit in real well, so I've got to get those, and then I'm going to put the pins in so that we can get this, uh, the barrel and the stock married together. So uh, it's going to be a little bit, so uh, we'll get we'll get right into it. All right, so what we're going to do now that we've got the free set is we're going to install uh, the thimbles here. I've got them just kind of laid out right now because you know they're not screwed down or anything. What we're going to do is we've got to shape the back one up because it's not it doesn't fit in super well. So what we're going to do is I'm just set this down so it doesn't drop. We're going to take one of our files and we're just going to file. We're just going to sorry. We're just going to file around here, get it nice and cleaned up, and then uh, we'll put it in here, and then we'll get everything marked up uh, with our calipers uh, so that we can uh, get it uh, get it screwed in. So I'll go ahead and start. And if I need anything, I'll just get back. And start talking. I think I got that one done. So now we're gonna do is we're going to uh, get this one set up. So uh, I'm gonna keep this right up front, like the book says. And I'm just now realizing that that hole is not centered on that, but that's fine. <clears throat> I've got my measurement from the back there. So uh, we're gonna make sure. So now we're gonna drill. Got that on there. Got it set out just a little bit there. Let's see, I went ahead and decided just to move it out a little bit there from the original just because I wanted to make sure that that was tight in there as well. So I've got that backed out a little bit. So if you can look in there, I think, well, you know what? I think it's in there tight enough that I'm not, you know what? I'm gonna give it a little bit, a couple more turns on the screw because I don't think it's married in there just quite well because there's still a little wiggle to it. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, the screw is just short enough that it's keeping it uh, in there. So if I take my ramrod, it's not getting hung up on anything because it's countersunk just well enough. So good. That's a that's a great news. So let's uh, let me get reset and then we'll go ahead and do the back one. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this back thimble set up. And because this one doesn't necessarily have a screw in already, we're going to have to kind of I'm not going to say guess on it, but we're definitely going to have to mark it up, right? So let's get this. So what we're going to do. Is I've already gone ahead and I've uh, basically gotten center on a, a piece of, uh, with the pencil and the calipers. And so now what we're going to do is I'm going to flip this over. All right, so I've got a I've got a starter right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull it out. I'm just going to drill it right here. All right, got it there, so we're gonna stick it back in. Do that, and you should see that, so if you see that, so you should be able to do that with our bore light, and I should, you see it? There we go. <laughs> light through, so okay, cool. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our 
Where is it? Countersink bit. Should be the last time we need to use that one. Let's countersink this bad boy. Be a little less aggressive on it on this one. Now it says I can use the screw to thread this. I don't. Ha I have a tap, but again, I'm. It says the because the metal's brass and this is steel, like it's softer, so it'll just work. It's not the right way to do it, uh, but you know, it is a way to do it. <laughs> Hope you can see what I'm showing you right there, but it looks like it needs to come down just a little bit more. So I'm gonna pull it out, uh, recountersink it, and then uh, try again. All right, same thing as last time. Uh, countersink is fine. Doesn't look like it's sticking out, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my ramrod. Adjust the camera a little bit here. Show that the ramrod goes in smoothly. I lied. Got to figure this out. Give me a few minutes. I think I need to file file in here. So give me a second. All right. So I kind of want to explain what just happened. Uh, so it goes in just fine. There's no. You saw that there was no screw in there. The problem I ran into was the fact that when I was putting it in, I forgot to clean up the burrs that are around there in here. So oh, let me show you. Forgot to clean up the burrs. Uh, from the screw that when I put it down in here. So if I go ahead and just goes back in just fine. Comes out just fine too. So again, and when you're doing this, and what I what I just figured out is that when you're doing this, make sure that you clean up the burrs around the screw holes. Again, this you know what? It's the wrong way. Clean up the burrs that that uh, happened. So clean up the burrs when you're doing that. So now that we've got the thimbles in and I've got the ramrod done, it is on to the next part, which is going to be putting the barrel, marrying the barrel and the tenons uh, all into this. So let me get reset here and I'll be right back. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we've got to get these tenons into these uh, slots right here. And if you just, if you look at them real quick, so they've gotta go, this configuration here, but if you look at them right now, because this is machined, they're not going to go in. All right, let me do it from the side. They're not going to really go in. So what I need to do is I need to shape them down. Uh, let me find, let me find old Trusty. Old Trusty's been helping me out this entire dead gun time. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and shape this, and if I need to say anything, I'll come back. So just go. All right, so <clears throat> had to get a little aggressive with it. Just bring it over here. Um, had to basically just set it down with some, some of my brass punches and a hammer and beat on it until it went in. But again, it, it's got a nice tight fit on it. It's about centered. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna shape this other one up, uh, shape this other tenon that I've got up right here. I'm gonna shape that one up, same kind of way. Stick it in there and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. So now we've got that one beat into place. It's centered, centered. So I've got two center tenons now. So now I need to put this to the stock. I need to measure the stock and where these are. So that's next. Let's reset. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to figure out where these bottom tenons, these bottom tenons are going to go. Make sure I got that in here real quick. So where these two bottom tenons are going in the in the actual uh, stock itself. So what I've done is I've marked the pencil in two locations, and then I've marked in pencil on oopsie, I marked in pencil on two locations here, straight line down. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to measure from top to bottom where this is, get that get that measurement, 
and then uh, transfer it over and hopefully get this right. Uh, so I'll do, let me get reset real quick and we'll do that. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to take our measurement of the top of this and the top, let me bring it over and show you. The top of this, the barrel and the tenon down here. And again, the top of the barrel and the tenon down here. And then we're gonna translate that to the line we drew earlier uh, on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Actually, you know what? Yes, I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna get a center point and we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So get started. All right, so now what we got is we've got, I've marked it for the bottom for both of them. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to measure up, get where the center is on that and go from there. All right, so now what I've done is since I've got that bottom line right there, so what I did was I measured to the bottom of the line of the tenon here, and then I went half the distance back up. So all that, figured out what the distance of the tenon was here, half that, and that's my mark right there. So now, hopefully this works, so we're gonna try it on the back one first, uh, I'm going to drill through uh, until I hit metal, pull it back out, and then um, see where it lands, and then we'll go from there. Uh, wish me luck. <laughs> Ha-ha! Take a look. Got me a tenon hole right there. So now, what I'll do is I'm going to finish drilling this hole out. Probably should move this. And you know what? <clears throat> I got a little excited. Let me clamp this down. There we go, one hole straight through. All right, I've got it back into the barrel now, our barrel into the stock, and I'm gonna to continue to drill all the way through. I'll know I'm through when I hit uh, this. Hopefully this mat doesn't get, you know what, hold on. This real quick. Perfect hole right there. Perfect hole in my desk. All right, we are through, so let's make sure we can actually see light. Yeah, I can see through it. Cool, perfect. All right, perfect. Now we're gonna do the <clears throat> other side. So one down, one to go. Ah! wasn't far enough down and I nicked the dead gum barrel. Thank God I stopped. <clears throat> See right there, nicked it. So now I'm gonna have to, uh, well, luckily it's just on one side. So that's that's no big deal. When I sand, I can fill that back in. So now I need to go down a little bit more. All right, got that one drilled, so I'm gonna put it back together and get the pins in. All right, now that I got that all done and drilled out, or drilled out, so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the pins in. Put this one in here. Get that one's in. Show you that, after my little screw up right there, that one's in, and that one's in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to the workbench, or we're going to go back over to the computer and we're going to talk about it. Okay, so that took a long time. <laughs> uh, no, in all seriousness, again, this is again, this, this is great that I got to do this. This is not something that's normally in my wheelhouse, but uh, was very good. So I uh, wanted to kind of go over everything that was asked to do so we can talk about that. Uh, we were asked to do um, the thimbles. So we did the back thimble and we did the front thimble. We shaped them up. 
made sure that they were nice and clean, and then we made sure our ramrod goes in and out pretty easy. Uh, we did the barrel tenons uh, to make sure that those were uh, those were good. So it's in there tight now. I mean, like no shaky shaky. So I went ahead and put uh, put the other uh, parts on here just to kind of make it look a little bit more complete. But uh, like I said, the only whoopsie diddles was where I, <laughs> I'll, I'll fix that. I'll fix that in post where you know I take some wood shavings after I get everything and put some, put that back in there. So that'll be that. And again, that was my only real whoops whoops up or on that one. So I'm really excited I got this done. Uh, took most of my <laughs> most of my uh, afternoon, but uh, yeah, no, this was well worth it. Uh, and looking forward to next week. Thanks for watching.